everybody so today I just wanted to come on here and hold on okay that's better um so I'm playing around with the new rings that I bought through Ally, and I will try and remember to link it below it took a little bit to get here a few weeks um, but it got here I only bought the one um, I might get more I don't know we'll see but I also ordered online from List Lab through Etsy uh, some inserts just to play around with this because I'm not sure how I'm going to use this yet. I wanted to switch out my pocket um, traveler's notebook into here, but I did not know that pocket rings is smaller than pocket TN. So I just learned that because as I was cutting this down, I said, you know, this looks really small, and I put it against the inserts in my traveler's notebook and it's different but that's okay it's really cute and I always felt like when I was watching YouTube um, videos with people with their pocket ring which is also like a filofax size um, pocket and thought you know it looks pretty small compared to the pocket traveler's notebook that I have so if you ever feel like switching out from a pocket TN to a pocket rings it will be different um, the inserts let me see I did a little bit of research before I had started because I needed to know what size to cut my cover and we're kind of gonna do this on the fly here because I've never made this before but the inserts for the pocket rings which is also mm, a file of facts I guess like agenda but a pocket size they have it in millimeters here it's 120 by 81 millimeters I guess but I found a site um, I'll try to link that too, but you know me, I don't remember to put things. Once I'm done recording and uploading, I just forget all the links. <laughs> so um, there's a website called Alicia Alicia Grace Co. Um, and she's I guess it's a blog. She's got like a little cheat sheet here, and her pocket size rings. It doesn't even say that it's rings, but I just figured out that this is rings because a regular pocket size is different. It's 3.19 inches by 4.72 inches. So it, that's in inches in millimeters. It's 81 by 120. So that's what this size is. I was like, wow, that looks pretty small. I do believe I have stickers that fit these boxes, but I'll have to check. Um, anyway, I did order the week on two pages and the month on two pages and then I just cut down paper that I had I had some notebooks that I wasn't using so I just cut it down to size and then some blank ones too and I filled it because I, I didn't know what size to cut my cover and I can't find um, anyone who actually has a tutorial on making a cover for this so <laughs> we're gonna wing it I'm gonna try it out um, so what I did was I took a sheet of the jelly um, material that I get from Amazon there is a link down below to where I find this um, please check it out I have links I have a list of links down below so you know before you start questioning things or asking me um, not questioning but asking me where I get stuff from please check that below and I do have tutorials in a um, a TN tutorials playlist down below as well on how I make covers and everything's pretty much the same it's all in sizing it to what you're going to use so again I'm going to be using this um, so I took my sheet placed this down on it where's my view here I lost my camera there we go and then just figured out where to meet you know where I should like end you know the top and the bottom I kind of was watching a YouTube video somebody showing their planner and I was looking at where this kind of ended you know as far as where the edges are to know the width and I just came up with five and a half inches and then took you know with my sheets in there took my thing and kind of just placed it and went over and then just kind of gave myself a little extra down here for like pen or whatever or room for growth I am going to be making it like a traveler's notebook where it has the elastic instead of the snap because um, I could have ordered a clear uh, pocket with rings but it had a snap and I don't like that so anyway 
So I came up with five and a half inches in, uh, oh, five and a half. I wrote this wrong. See? High and long. So it's nine inches in length by five and a half inches in height. Okay, that's what I came up with for this. And um, you can see all the things are close together. There's another rings that are, these three are further apart. That's a different size too. Everything is like all these different sizes. And I did get this online and it works perfectly to cut my holes. I was able to put a lot of sheets in there. And it already has the pocket size marking, which is awesome. And yeah. So this rings come with these screws, three of them. Although, no, not three. I'm sorry. There's two, two sets because they screw into each other. Um, I did make a template because it's such an odd sh a size. You know, it's not three and a half by five and a half. It's, what did I say it was? 3.19 by 4.72. And for me to figure that out on these things, that ain't going to happen. So I just made a template with cardstock so that I can follow this next time I need to make something. Because I do want to make dividers and... Uh, maybe a shaker, you know, I want to make folders I'm trying to figure out the folder is going to be a little difficult so Or some kind of pocket I can't make the normal folder. So yeah, I like to figure things out myself and that is really That keeps me busy and if I can't find it online or Google, you know through Google or YouTube I figure it out myself <laughs> That's just the way I roll. All right, so again What I cut out of this jelly and you could use other materials like I've already done before um, I just wanted to use this for now because it's just one piece that I need to work with since this is the first time I'm doing this with the rings. And what I'm going to have to do first is figure out my center hole for the elastic. Now I've rearranged my room so it might take me a second. I've moved things around. <laughs> so I have to find my elastic and then I'll figure out how to do this. And I do need my hole punch. Which is down below now, so I'm going to pause for a second. Alright, I don't know if it started without me. <laughs> Seems like it did. Um, I'm going to go with the pink. It kind of just going to blend in a little bit, not really pop out too much. Um, and let's see, i got to figure out my center. So, oh, and I didn't mention that I did round my corners. I do like to do that with all my covers. I used to round my inserts, but I don't, the only inserts that I round off is the folders for the TNs. So let's see here. Okay, and then to figure out a center, this is what? Nine inches, so half of nine inches. And half of five and a half. Let's figure that one out. <laughs> I could just make a template, but. So. Since it's plastic, it should wipe off easily. And then, of course, this thing never came off. All right, let me try this here. So it's nine inches, four and a, got a freaking itch, four and a half. Okay, and then half of five and a half. What would that be? Let's do. Let's see. Uh, one inch this way, one inch, one inch, one inch. I think I got the center already, so this is, that is half. Oh, I'm very close to it, right here. Okay. So I'm going to make a hole there. We're going to see how this works. I have more of these um, things. It's the second one down. I won't even need to erase that other one because it looks like, yep, it's gone. Okay. And now to figure out how much I need, you know, normally I have cheese sheets, but since I've never made this before, I know I'm not gonna need that much, but I know I'm gonna chunk this up. So I know I'm gonna need extra stuffing. Um. Well, let's let's put my phone here just to make it thicker. I always fill my things 
and then put my elastic to see okay I'm gonna need this much elastic so I don't waste it and then um, make a knot put it over see where I'm not gonna tighten it I'm just gonna make like a loose knot and see if it'll go over because I know I'm gonna chunk this up with stuff because this is gonna be like a fun planner for me so right there and I'm gonna tighten it just a little more okay I'm bringing it in a little more and I'm gonna tighten it so let's just see how this works so now I don't have to worry about doing the other stuff for strapping although there are hybrid planners out there now that have both the elastics and this which I don't understand <laughs> It's like just make up your mind and do one or the other I just feel like because the elastic would go like right here next to it and then you put like a regular traveler's notebook in there but then it's gonna be you know in the way of the the uh, rings so that made no sense to me okay so let's just do this again see how how it is I think that's good. I still got to put a pen in there too. So let's just leave it at that. There'll be room for uh, changes later. Okay, so now the other thing would be is getting this thing on here straight. And I'm not going to remove my inserts. I should be able to close this. And I can't remove this. This has to stay. And now I have to figure out, I'm going to make a couple of marks, maybe. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but like above so I can get my centers. i got to take that sticker off of there. I'm going to make marks on the top part, my middle marks. So at the four and a half, it will come off. And the same thing on the bottom. So I can try and get my rings to go straight. And since this is not really directional, I'm just I'm not gonna worry about what direction it is. And then let's see, maybe this way. Again, I didn't see any tutorials. I've seen tutorials on how they remove rings out of the planners. Might have to stand up for this. So I'm trying to center my mark with the binder rings and I can't see right there. That's going to have to do Oop, something moved. Mm. Okay. So I'm just kind of visually making sure that they're lined up with the holes there and then I'm just gonna make uh, a bigger hole I think I need to make a bigger hole do I need to make a bigger hole maybe not I should be able to use the same size so I'm gonna keep with the size that I have on here this is one eighth of an inch or one eighth something I don't know um, and just see if that works if not I can use the second one let's see take these out so it comes screwed together I had already taken these apart and yeah the small one is good because I don't want to make the holes too big and just slip it in there oh my gosh this is gonna be so much fun okay so let me make the other hole this had wiped off already it's even in the end and I wipe that other one and now run this through my hole here this is why I ordered the specific binder rings because you can just screw them in instead of I don't know how it's done oh and I need to get a screwdriver it is a flat head so let me pause for a second okay hopefully yeah this will work let's get this on Okay, that's not easy. 
easier said. Maybe if I open these. Maybe. Let's see. And I'm going to make sure that that elastic goes in there. Um, one of the things that I was thinking of, if I was to use clear, clear, that it's going to show all that ugliness. So I was thinking you could put a cardstock or something in here when you screw this in. Although you're still going to see this elastic. Let me cut a little more. But I don't think that would be so bad. But since this is not 100% clear. Okay. Let's try this again. I think this is going to work fine. I am excited. And I might have to order different colors. Get in there. All right, here we go, I think. Come on. Doesn't want to cooperate. All right, so you get the idea of what I'm doing here. I don't think you really need to see me screwing this in. Oh, we got one. So I'm not going to fiddle with the second one on camera because it's... I guess I'm going to have to hang on to the other side maybe. Let me see. Can I tighten this? It does tighten. Okay. The other side doesn't have anything to hold on to. Okay, I guess I'm going to do this on camera. It got easier. Once you get one down. Okay. Yay. I don't want to do extreme, but, oh, look at that. But you see how I really should have gotten silver. I don't know why I got this color. But that's going to show. And if it was clear, you would see the make the backing of that. And because there's like a, there's an opening back there, it's not completely flat. That little knot kind of goes in there flat. I've seen some people where they show it's puckering when they have this as, as well. All right, so before I close it up, let's try the inserts in here now and see how we how this all works. I am so excited about this. This is really, really cute. And I see why people do the little rings pocket. Okay, and if I want to, I could still trim off some of the cover. Did this come out straight? That's the other thing. I don't know. I think it did. So yeah, it needs to get a little fuller, but I think it came out perfect. I think I got it. So if it's straight, then I might just use this the next time as a template. It looks straight to me. And I'm not going I'm not worried about this doing this thing because I am gonna fill this up some more and I'm gonna put a pen in here. Let's just say that this is gonna go in there for now. And I'm gonna put some pockets. I'm gonna put clear adhesive pockets in here, maybe just in the back. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in the front. So there you go. It was actually super easy. It's actually only about three dollars and change. It was free shipping for this, um, the rings and Look at how cute this is. So I'm definitely going to attempt to make different covers and I can change these out so I can put this into my next cover. I'm just seeing if it's straight. When you lay it flat you can tell and it looks like it's straight to me. Right? So cute. Imagine this with tabs and things. Alright, so there you go. There's my little sort of tutorial it was just winging it um thank you all for watching i'll see you guys next time bye now